everyone, it's Jessica again here for part two of my series looking at archery and how it relates to the Hunger Games. If you missed part one, you can go to hypable.com and find it there. Like I mentioned last time, I'm going to be looking a little bit more at the recurve bow this time, which is the same bow that Katniss would be using. Now, Katniss's bow probably would have been made from one solid piece of wood, so she wouldn't have to screw in these separate parts like I have to do. But what she would have to do is unstring it when she was finished using it and restring it when she was ready to use it again. The reason that you have to do that is because if you leave it strung for too long, then the shape of the bow and the tension and the string will become weak and you won't be able to shoot with as much accuracy or as much distance. And that is clearly important, especially for someone like Katniss who is hunting with her bow to survive. So to string it, you put it, you brace it up against your foot, and then you put your other leg around and you bend it down and put the string around it. Easy peasy. So there you go. And then the arrow, look at some of the important parts of the arrow real quick. This is the tip of the arrow, clearly very important, especially if you're hunting. And then these are called fletchings, and these are what help keep the arrow straight when it soars through the air. And then this little knock, notch right here is what you, where you knock the arrow on to the bowstring. So you put it here, and then you knock it, and you are good to go. So that is it for part two of my series, and be sure to check back to hypobolt.com for part three. Until next time, bye.